today. In marriage, we not only say I love you today, but also I promise to love you for all of our tomorrows. Greg and Marie, in the days ahead of you, there will be stormy times and good times, times of conflict and times of joy. I ask you to remember this advice. Never go to bed angry. Let your love be stronger than your anger. Learn the wisdom of compromise. For it is better to bend than it is to break. Believe the best of your beloved rather than the worst. Confide in your partner and ask for help when you need it. Remember that true friendship is the basis for any lasting relationship. Give your spouse the same courtesies and kindnesses you bestow on your friends. Say I love you every day. <laughs> Greg and Marie, I remind you that marriage is a precious gift, a lifelong commitment, and a challenge to love one another more completely each and every day. Please join hands and look into each other's eyes. Greg, repeat after me. I have chosen you, Marie. I have chosen you, Marie. To be my wife. To be my wife. From this time forward. From this time forward. To love you and to be faithful to you. To love you and to be faithful to you. To be your comfort in life. To be your comfort in life. To nourish you with my gentleness. To nourish you with my gentleness. To uphold you with my strength. To uphold you with my strength. To love your body as it ages. To love your body as it ages. To weigh the effects of the words that I speak. To weigh the effects of the words that I speak. And of the things I do. And of the things I do. To never take you for granted. To never take you for granted. But always give thanks for your presence. But always give thanks for your presence. I promise you this from my heart. I promise you this from my heart. For all the days of my life. For all the days of my life. <laughs> Sorry. Greg, with this understanding, do you take Marie to be your wedded wife, to live together in marriage? Do you promise to love her, comfort her, honor her, and keep her for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, forsaking all others? And to be faithful only to her for as long as you both shall live. <laughs> we really do, Marie. <laughs> Marie, repeat 
Greg Jeremy. I have chosen you, Greg, to be my husband from this time forward and step forward to love you and to be faithful to you, to be your comfort in life, to nourish you with my gentleness, to uphold you as my spirit, to love your body as it ages, to weigh the effects of the words that I speak and of the things I do. To never take you for granted, no, not right there. but always give thanks to I promise you, I promise, I promise you this from my heart, for all the days of my life. Marie, with this understanding, do you take Greg to be your wedded husband, to live together in marriage? Do you promise to love him, comfort him, honor him, and keep him for better or worse? For richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, forsaking all others and be faith, faithful only to him, so long as you both shall live. <laughs> May I have the ring, please? <laughs> That's his third ring. challenges come, remember to focus on what is right between you. In this way, you can ride out the storms. And when the clouds hide the sun in your lives, remember, even if you lose sight of it for just a moment, the sun is always there. Greg and Marie, you have pledged your vows to each other and have exchanged rings as tokens of your love and commitment to each other in accordance to the laws of the state of Ohio, and with great joy, I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> you may seal your vows with a kiss. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Gibbons. <laughs> 